It's time to crown a champion in the Cup Series. The youngest of the four drivers, William Byron, making his first appearance out in Phoenix. Let's take a look at what we think his chances are in blueprint, what his strengths are. Six wins on the season. I mean, that means something. Six times he's best the entire field. In the spring Phoenix race, he won. So I think pit crews are strength. I think they are more consistent than Larson. Maybe just not that firepower, not that 9-1 stop. But wherever he comes in, I feel like he's going out. I feel like their pit crew elevates and they're under pressure. When they get well, that's to these what you late, want at this moment. Right? That's, that's the piece. If I look through the season, I feel like in these six wins, they haven't dominated. They've put themselves in position to, to go win races. And I, I maybe they don't have that top-end speed that, that maybe the five team has. But I feel like this group as a whole, including William, because I think his rolling times are good. They figure out when, when pressure's on, they elevate. Name a race other than Martinsville that they haven't been in. Well, I had that down. They've put together the best playoffs outside of Martinsville, bar none. So, so when I like, I like my comparison here. So this season, 35 races mm -hmm. of these four head-to-head. -head. Uh, Kyle Larson has led the four 14 times in finish, but he was second only four. My point is it's either kind of feast or famine. Mm -hmm. Right, you got Ryan Blaney you're kind of in the middle, Bell in the middle. Here's William Byron. He's been first 10 times and second 10 times of these four. And what I mean is he's in the mix. So, you know, it, it's almost the complete opposite of Larson, who's like firepower or bust. William is just like, hey, Grind. we're going to be really good everywhere we go, all the time. You know what's funny? You know who he reminds me of? The guy that made the 24 famous. Mm -hmm. He was good everywhere. I mean, that's why he was so dominant in those seasons of 36 races and all the different points and all the different things. He could kind of beat you everywhere you went. When you look at William Byron, name a track that he doesn't have a chance. But now this comes down to one race, but it's coming down to a race that he won in the spring. Yeah, it is. And I think Rudy's not afraid to make the bold call if he needs to. I agree to. with that. I think that's, I think that's a positive. Don't let team. his starts in cup fool you. He, he has been mm -hmm. under the spotlight in whatever series he chose to take part in many, many times. Um, all right, give me the weakness then. What is your concern for Byron? I, I think the fact that they still had to focus to Martinsville because they're, they're in a points battle, so they haven't had the chance to be two weeks out preparing for Phoenix. I think that's, that's one. And back to what I said with the, with the five team, I think there's a split agenda for HMS with two guys in it. I think that dilutes a little bit of the support you get. I think he's the one that doesn't have the most obvious weakness to me. Mm -hmm. Now, I also probably can't give him the most obvious strength. Like I said, I think he's kind of the whole picture. Okay, what do I think William's obvious weaknesses are? Well, he's 25. So is that a fair weakness? I don't know, but he's the youngest. Does that bother? I, mean, I don't know. That's an easy, low-hanging fruit. The reason I don't have that as a weakness is because I think he has seen Chase Elliott do it. He has seen Kyle Larson do it. He has been around Rick Hendrick, Chad Knauss, you know, Jeff Gordon, these guys that have, they're all Hall of Famers. The three I just mm -hmm. listed are all in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's an impressive support cast. And I would, I would not use age, I'd use races. Yeah, and he so, has over so 200. Really, he's, he's well ahead of Christopher Bell. 